Everybody, welcome back to Septic Ages, episode 58, with me, 80 shoulder pad Sid here. Uh, <laughs> this armor, it's ludicrous. Look at the size of them shoulder pads. Oh dear. Anyway, um, I'd like to try something out. This is somewhat in the nature of an experiment. So, how do I put this? Last episode, we, um, we built those over there. And those, those of course, being uh, watermills, and they're generating power um, into HV capacitors, three of them, which is 12 million RF worth of of power storage. And at the moment, it's just been all pumped into here. So basically, they pump up and like that. But I shouldn't probably stand on vol high voltage things. It occurs to me that, well, how do I put this simply? These things have got two sides. And my thoughts were, that's the wrong way around, but is it possible to generate power from both sides of the dynamo? Now, I'll be honest, I actually don't know the answer to this. So, what I am going to do... I'm just going to borrow you for a second, and we'll, we will head over here. Uh, let's just... Right, well, that's not doing anything. However, uh, the output, of course, for a dynamo is on the top. So, if I were to give you that... The answer, therefore, is to Piers is no, it does not work. Which, you know, was always a possibility. Um, well, it just occurred to me that, you know, there must be a reason why we don't put dynamos on both sides. Now, I can use that dynamo, that's not a problem. We'll, we will move on with that. I'm just going to go and sleep quickly, and then we'll stick this, um, this capacitor back where it belongs. But, yeah, we just thought, just... Just a wee little thought there, just to see whether there was some kind of trick that I'd missed. Anyway, um, well, pretty little fireworks still going off outside. It's uh, it's now the day after bonfire night uh, in the UK. Uh, good, good old bonfire night, um, and consequently, you know, we are still celebrating the fact that somebody failed to blow up the Houses of Parliament. I still don't understand that. I would celebrate blowing it up, definitely. Uh, <laughs> um, but we need to push on, and we need to get to the point where we have our tech supporting us. And to do that, we... Oh, God. Scared me off to death. To do that, all right, wander around, do the creeper check, do a creeper check, creeper check. The more and more of this technology gets out here in these unsecured areas, the more phobic I get about the entire thing. <laughs> Understandably, I think. But let's put you back. That's better. Okay, doing its thing. So we've got this thing, we've got the oil, and in there there are 12 buckets of oil. At the moment it's really not, you know, lined up for for doing much. There's 10,000 buckets, 100 buckets, oh, I don't know. There's a lot of buckets of oil there, and uh, we need to do something about it. We also need to use that soul forged steel that I've been creating um, because that was a, a thing that I wanted to do and I thought while we're here we'll grab these because these are necessary for part of that um, yeah I don't know whether the soul forged steel armor is going to be any good compared to say what we've got I mean 
personally, I think this armor is is pretty is pretty good. Um, but we need to get the distillation tower going. That is our primary mission this this episode, and it's going to take a whole load of uh, materials. Um, not least of which for the in, in the first place. Well, let me go and get the. Have I got the book? I haven't got the book. Let me go and get this. Um, hmm. Let me go and get this grinding down. Actually, we'll grind that as well because why not? I've stopped doing that for a while because we haven't got much space there. Uh, and at the moment, this thing is smelting silver. So. Uh, which leaves us with a very, very small amount of platinum. And I have got a storage issue for my ingots now I've kind of caught up on myself. So I am going to have to address that at some point, but let's deal with the uh, deal with the elephant in the room, shall we, to start off with. And, uh, yeah, seeds, bang, a little bit of that, keep hold of that lot. We'll put the that away for now, and we shall get the engineer's manual. So, oil processing, distillation tower, very big thing. We are going to need to do the multi-block projector. We need to get one of these going. So we need some iron, glass, treated wood, and an iron plate with glowstone block and some panes of glass. Okay. Hmm, that's a... Uh, can I use you to make a pane of glass anywhere? No, I can't, can I? Well, I could melt it, I suppose. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, 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 okay. So, what did I need? Oh, I've forgotten what I need already. I needed some glowstone, uh, which I think I've got here. One, two, three, four. We got you. And then, yeah, we need to make the multi box projector. That is two iron sheets and two panes of glass. Okay, let me pull that together. I'll be back in a sec. All right, um, combine that with that and that, and that'll give us the projector, which is a an achievement, strangely enough. Uh, there. So, moving forwards, um, we do want to get into that spare. You got you and the engineer's manual will tell us what we need to do to get the distillation tower. The distillation tower requires 25 steel scaffolding, 33 steel scaffolding slabs, 17 fluid pipes, one redstone engineering block, four heavy engineering blocks and 60 iron sheet metal. It is a big, big structure. Let's go and see what we've got in the tech box, because I think we should have a spare redstone engineering block. That should be at least one thing in our favour, because they normally make two. Mm, if we have... I don't know where it is. Uh, okay, let's have a one. Let's go to a redstone engineering block. That should have been... They normally make two. I'm positive they normally make two. No, nope, makes one now. <laughs> change damn you so we're going to need to make some redstone alloy plate iron plate and another vacuum tube vacuum tube is going to require us to make some bits and pieces that's fine no biggie um however we probably should concentrate let's go and get these the, the uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. let's try and keep ourselves together uh anything else we need out of that lot right now no i don't think so okay let's try and get the stuff together now the question is and this is uh, an interesting question from my point of view do I say I've got no 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 I've got have I not got is there a rod cast I don't think there is is the uh, or do I just try uh, oh man this is so annoying do we go with the plates I mean I can make stuff with a hammer and they're pretty cheap it's only sticks and stone so that in itself is not a biggie um, I'll just I don't know you can go there for now uh, we've got these so that's the thing so we can go in here and we can say we want 17 fluid pipes I've got three 
and fluid pipes are is that it? Yeah. So that's eleven nineteen. Take two out, spare seventeen fluid pipes. That's easy. The scaffold is a little bit more tricky, but only moderately. Uh, we need 60 sheet metal now. I know for a fact that this will give me 52. So I need another eight. So that's simple enough. I mean, there was a reason why I cast all those metal plates, and that was because I knew I was going to need them. Uh, take those and craft them into those. Gives me 60, which is exactly what we need. That's two of the heaviest items out there. The heavy engineering blocks. Hang on. Mm -hmm. That needs some electrum. We need some steel mechanical components. We need pistons. How many do I need? I can't remember. Four. Four, four. So I need two lots of those. So I'm going to need pistons. Um, let me get those together. They're all pretty straightforward, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, I've been looking at the cost of doing the iron, and I really need to be more economical. It is actually going to be a lot more efficient for me to make the press. So we are making the press. That's a thing. We got the conveyor belt achievement, which is you know no biggie. Um, so the press itself uses, we're going to need to make uh, another heavy engineering block, I think, unless, no, I haven't got another one. Yeah, we're going to need to make another one of those. That, that in itself is issue, but we can make that once we've made the press, because we've got one of those, got two of those, the, that can go away. Just get, oh man. Uh, we need the redstone engineering block. We've got one. We're going to need to make another, but again, that's not an issue. Uh, what do we need? A piston. And a couple of pieces of scaffolding. Well, a piston is easy. That's here. Uh, scaffold. So we're going to have to make the scaffold the expensive way. Which is, we need... One, two, three, and then one, two, three. So armed with that, we can make normal scaffold. Shunk, which we get six from. Uh, let me get rid of the... Right, now the next question is where we're going to build it, and it probably wants to be up here somewhere. Being as this is kind of our machine room area. Mm hmm. You know what? I am tempted to line it up here. So, we have redstone block at the bottom. I think that's right. Let me just double check, yep. Yeah. Scaffold either side. Nope. Then it is... Okay, so if I go... Let me just... Right, hang on. We can probably do that better like that, can't we? If I do that and then get you, put you there and then we shall put you hang on will i i've never tried to rotate one of these with a we can that'll do me oh well too far ah stop it there and then we'll put a conveyor no again we can rotate that it's not a problem And that makes us a press, which means next thing we need is a rod press. Uh, that is, so we need a steel plate, blue die, 
How on. Yeah, steel plate, blue dye, and paper. Okay, let's get a steel plate. And we can get that going. And uh, we probably want a hopper of some description as well, don't we? So, yeah, that's something else we should also get going. Bang, bang. Bang. Thank you. Plate. Uh, paper and blue dye. I'll get that together. I'll be back in a sec. All right, armed with all of that. There's our engineer's blueprints for moulds. And if we look at that, that's mould plate, mould rod, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so if we have a look at that then, the rod you can make with the plate. The plate is made with a steel plate some engine and some engineer's thing. Okay. I presume it's just one steel plate. I can't imagine why it would be more. Um, I've got a wooden hopper. I don't think we need anything more than that, to be honest. And uh, well, a chest should do. I don't think again. I'm not worried about catching. We're going to at this stage in the game. Oh, lag. Uh, <laughs> uh, something happened then. I just saw a server can't keep up message. Okay, we'll pop you in there. We'll get you there, and we'll. Uh, that's not right, duh. Uh. Let's go get this going, and uh, I think I'll just stick a battery on the top for the time being. I don't think it'll drain constantly, so that should work. It's not like we haven't got plenty of those. Uh, right, so I'm thinking what we shall do is we shall just do uh, that into there. We'll pop you on there. If we go and get one of these charged batteries and set the output to the bottom, we should be able to just plonk that up on there. Yep, didn't actually pull any power, so it'll only pull it while it's using it, and that's fine. So then we just need to make the actual item, which if we take... How do I get that out of there? Like that. So if I stick that in there uh, oh my god it takes five you swine that's bloody expensive then all right fine it does take five hello mm -hmm. that's the thing apparently just deal with this chucklehead well there's no use getting upset now you're dead there for there for now so I need another four don't I one two three four uh, this will be worth it this will definitely be worth it uh, I will however need to make another yeah another hammer but we should be able to get away from hammering things once we've got this thing running so that'll be nice And da, 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 and da, 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 da. Jimmy, thank you. Right. Here's a long old road getting some of this stuff done, isn't it? Um, thank you. I'll go with a thing. We are going to need to make a mold press, but that's we can do in a bit. Right now, I want um, this. And if I wanted a lot of steel stuff, 25 scaffolding, so it's 6 per, so 6 was 24. So if I do 4 lots, 4 threes are 16, no, 12. 
fourth, which is twelve. Yeah. So if I do twelve lots of ink, twelve. Let's do fifteen. Hang on. But this is makes double, doesn't it? Let's do eight then. See how that goes. Because you get two per, of course, now rather than one per, which is double, double the efficiency. That's good, isn't it? Okay, uh, that's not using a huge amount of power, so that's fine. I can live with that, and uh, I will see you in a moment. All right, we've got everything. Um, this is actually working pretty out. It's fairly efficient. I've made the plate press as well, so we've, uh, and it's a lot more effective to make these in here than it is to make them using the usual four steel and what uh, I think it's four steel and one copper rather than um, two steel and one copper. So it's half the price. So much more efficient. I think what I will probably do is get a whole load of these benches set up with each of these uh, blueprints because it's a pain having to move everything around every time however let us go and see about getting a honking great big structure built uh <laughs> yeah that's officially what it is it's a honking great big structure now obviously we are going to need to hook it up to the power that's a thing and uh come on then piranha if you think you're hard enough check Creeper patrol. Creeper patrol appears to. Yep, yeah, that's not a creeper. It was a hemp thing. Right. So, if I were to go and accidentally pick up a whole load of stuff, if I were to get you and like that and craft you with my projector and decide where I want to put this. Now, the. F the input, fuel input, is to the rear there. It doesn't really matter that much, except if I come over to, say, here. And, is it? No. Uh, right, there is a middle click to rotate. Uh, what was that one? Hang on. Left, shift, and middle click to mirror. Left, shift, and middle click. Like that. So now we've got that going on, we can get you and we can get the scaffolding down. This thing's brilliant. It's It was a real boon when they added this to uh, immersive engineering because it, otherwise it was a complete and right royal pain in the backside to build. And as you build up, it goes up. So we can come in here and for example we can get the redstone block on there we can get the two engineering blocks on there we can get that on there we've got that and then we've got that now we are also going to need to go and sleep because you know time waits for no man and all that but this Brilliant, brilliant, useful tool. And, of course, it's scaffolding, so we can climb it. I'm going to go sleep. We'll continue building that uh, after I've slept, and I'll be back in a mo. All right, we're about there. We're a long way up. Um, if you watch my Sid Modern Life series, you, you've seen this before. So this is this will come as no surprises to you whatsoever. It's a very, very large structure, and it hurts when you fall off the top of it. But there you go, that's it. Right, we can get rid of you, and we should be able to take you, and it's usually, there you go. So what we got, we got, that is power. One of these is, um, I think that's output and that's input. I think I've done these the wrong way around actually. That, well, I'll tell you what, there's a very simple way to find out. It tells you in the book. Uh, and before they do that, I'm going to eat this cooked zombie pigman flesh because it sounds delicious. Uh, doesn't seem to do any, anything major, but unlike the gas meat, which um, if you've not 
at that before. <laughs> You're in for a treat. Okay, uh, right, we have got... Crude oil can be input to the distillation tower at the ha back hatch marked with a blue dot. That one. So... That was a bit of a mistake. I'm going to have to kind of wheel around here somehow. Um, it's not a major, major league problem at this stage because my thoughts are that what we're going to do is we are going to get you and we're going to... Hopefully this will work. Yep, and that should have kept its oil. So if we were to put that there with a pipe underneath it, that should work. I think we also need to get power. Now the power has got to come from here, up, and over here. So I think we're going to need to get some some wire and uh, maybe a power pole thingy. Um, and then we're going to need to pipe out the fluid here, which I'll probably use a selection of pumps. Oh, and this is where the... Um, I think we're going to need a chest or something there. Right, I need to pull some stuff together. I need to make some copper wire. And I need to... Yeah, make some copper wire. And I need to insert... Ideally, I need to insulate it so I stop electrocuting myself. <laughs> because that's the thing. Which is actually a fairly... I don't know how recent that is to immersive, actually. Um, I don't recall it being a thing. But if we have a look at the wire... LV wire coil, hemp rope coil, steel cable, insulated LV, insulated MV. I think LV will be fine. That uses hemp cloth um, to make four of those. So basically some of that and some of that. Let's take some copper. I'll get that pressed into plates. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'll make a bit. I'll make a wee bit of it. Um, and I'll be back once I've got the bits together. All right. Um just need to make sure we're safe because we've got a lot of expensive equipment out here now and obviously night has been and gone and we have a few uh, friendly neighborhood uh, zombies wandering around um, which if there's a friendly neighborhood zombie that means there could be a friendly neighborhood creepy creeper um, look clear Missed. Dead. But before, what we were, so, yeah. With all this around, I am definitely double checking all the areas where something could just jump out and go boom. Boom would be bad. Okay, okay, okay. So, I brought a bit of pipe and we'll stick that on there. And we shall take our wooden barrel and we'll stick it on there. And that has drained, well, it will drain totally into there, in fact, which is ideal. Perfect. We're going to need more barrels as well. We're going to stick our pipe there. That's going to be our output. We've got a chest to go here. And then we have got a power added up to there and one there. Uh, and uh, hang on, uh, hopefully this will be long enough, but we'll uh, place you there, hammer, there, no, relay, there, Insulated LV cable. Again, I mean, we will want to do this efficiently at some point. But, right now, efficiency is not a major issue. But the ability to hook these two things up is. And we should be seeing uh, some naphtha and some diesel coming out. And you can see, we're not even touching that. That is empty, so we can take you out of there. We'll let the entire 12 barrels go down. This should come down to the point where you can see we've got, yeah, we've got a bit of both, really. Uh, and what do we need? We need a 
bucket of naphtha and a bucket of diesel. I'm going to need another bloody bucket. <laughs> Damn you. Uh, yes, I am going to need another bucket. That's great. Do I have to have them both or will it just accept? Let's wait late till this is finished doing its thing. Okay, so we've got six of each and that is nicely full. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right, let me get another wooden barrel and I'll be back in a second. I'll get a bucket sorted as well while I'm at it. All right, um, so we've got buckets, we've got barrels we've got everything we should require now to pull things from here which is obviously six of each that's got some bitumen uh, so let's get one of those down oh no it has to go to the top that's right of course it does I keep on forgetting about that uh, I don't know whether there's been a change, whether Astral Sorcery is broke on me, but it's hey, something that doesn't seem to work anymore. And that is my ability to um, break wooden items with a pick. So that should be diesel, and that will drain out. Yep, okay. Uh, and then we can put down that one. Uh, we can also get rid of this block here. Bump. and we'll pick you up there and then we'll pop that down and that down and we've got three spare things and then we've got a bucket of that and a bucket of that so that should be distillation um, we then need to go hot and steamy and further processing diesel will give us kerosene gasoline and lubricant you need one bucket of each to complete the advancement well that's easily done let me pop that and that back for a second we'll take you and we shall place you there so that should be diesel going in and we should be getting kerosene gasoline and lubricant eventually i presume whether we get them in equal quantities, I don't know. Uh, hmm. Gasoline is... Yeah, okay. And the other thing we need is then we need to make an immersive tech boiler. Now, I don't think we're going to get that, this, that done this episode because we've gone through a whole load of resources. And that should give us, using a modular machinery chemical mixer will allow you to mix naphtha and steam to create propane. Grab a bucket to progress towards plastic. Jesus. <laughs> I just wonder how long this chain is before we to get to... Uh, I think that's empty. Okay, fine. What do we got there? Kerosene. Hang on. And lubricant. I haven't seen any lubricant. <clears throat> okay. What's going on with the lubricant then? Lubricant bucket. Created crafting item to create speed upgrades. How the hell do you... I mean, it says you should get it from doing diesel. That is weird. All right, well, we'll get... We'll get you. That's going to be some of that. And then we'll get some of that. Oh, there we go. There's lubricant. It's all right. You just couldn't see it in the actual thing. So, one two three and that one should oh one of these is empty then that one <laughs> all right that's our diesel so we should be good to go that one that one oh i need a third bucket don't i or can i 
I've got three or four. Can I put that back? Let's have a look. I can. Okay. Well, we cleared that. And we can put the lubricant back as well. Excellent. Uh, right, I need to... Uh, I also need to run this again. Um, now, question. Can I... I can never remember with these things whether you can have... Oh, hang on. Whether you can have more than one wire attached. It looks like you can. Um, oh, we needed one of these as well. Hope. Now, that is going to be dog slow. Uh, I know that's going to be slow, but it doesn't matter. It'll take as long as it takes, and that's fine. I mean, this requires more juice than that. But on that note, I think we are going to take a step back over here. Mm, can I? Can I? Uh, no, no. Uh, can I get over here? There we go. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that will, I think that will do us for this episode. So uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. Next episode, we're going to make a steam boiler. Never made one of them before. So uh, that's going to be new. And uh, I will see you then. Till then, bye for now.